Hi, thanks for stopping by. The other day I got a question in my comments and the question was and it was about uh, deleting duplicate rows and finding unique rows and things of that nature and the comment in the video said Hi, I have table A and table B. How can I create table C and insert unique records from table A and table B in MySQL? Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that in PHP My Admin. It's kind of interesting that this particular subject came up because I just had to do this yesterday and I actually thought about making a video and then I uh, then I found this comment that's asking for this very video so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and open up a database that has multiple tables and this database is for a Zencart uh, shopping system and the way a Zencart shopping system works is it has probably about a hundred tables in it and some of those tables are for products and uh, what I what I needed to do is I needed to make uh, a thing that tweets the cart contents so I need the product itself and the product description now the product is filled with a whole bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily need all of so I'm gonna go ahead and open the products table real quick so you can see and as I scroll across there's products ID products weight status class all that I only need about four fields for what I'm doing but what this what this doesn't have is the product description and the reason it doesn't have the product description is because the product description has been put into a different table and I'll open that up now and you can see that there's really not a whole lot going on in that table other than the products name and the products description but uh, in order to use all of what I need to with the name the description and all I kind of would like to have it in one table that way I don't have to write a lot of code for it and plus it doesn't query the entire database and when I'm making a automatic tweeting system out of a shopping cart I don't like to use the actual database for the shopping cart itself uh, I'd rather not interact with that if I don't absolutely have to so what I've done in I will go ahead and go into my SQL here and I've made a query I've gone ahead and made this cut and paste so I don't have to sit here and bore you with uh, putting it all in and maybe making mistakes so how you combine tables is basically you just make a select statement and in this case I'm selecting products products ID products products model uh, products price products description products name products description products description from products and I'm joining products description on products products ID products description products ID blah blah all that is kind of meaningless all I'm trying to point out here is just make a query that works if you've made a query that works and you've copied this and put it onto your clipboard then you can test your query and see what it does now as you may have noticed that the uh, products table had a whole bunch of fields of stuff that I didn't need in it and the uh, products description didn't have enough information in it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run this query and what this query should do is join my two tables together and give me a net result uh, based on the things that I wanted it to produce. Now I didn't use asterisks because I didn't want everything produced. I just wanted the products ID, the products model, the products price. All of that comes from the products table. And then the products name and description comes from the products description table. So there's two tables at play here and now what I've done is I've taken the information from this table and combined that with the information from this table and I've combined that where the products ID matches up because that's the uh, that's the key uh, that hooks these two together and I can see that uh, this is successful it gives me all the information I want from both tables and this has put this into one temporary table so how do we put it into a table all of its own that's pretty simple so I'm gonna go back to your SQL right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put my query back in control V now you can see this is the query that I ran and that I'm happy with and that achieved the result so all I need to do to make a table out of this query is and I'm going to call this tweet and instead of me hen pecking at this uh, two finger pecking like I usually do and I'm usually distracted when I'm trying to do it I'll just cut and paste it in 
this is the only line you really need. Once you have a query that works for you and returns the records you want, in front of select just put create table and then name your table. In my case this is tweets, but this is going to be your table name here. And then as. So create table as any workable query that you, you like the results of. So when I do that, and I'll show you on my left right here that there is no table called tweets yet. Okay, we got tax cl class, tax rates, template select. All right, so we're good to go. We press go, and when I do, that will create a table over here. Okay, you can see my side is refreshed, and this table is tweets. So we now have that table called tweets, and the tweets table, when it comes up, only has the five fields that I wanted. Products ID, products model, products price, products name, products description. So that has combined two tables. But if you remember that, uh, that very last thing that I gave you, and you can use that in front of any query, regardless of how many tables or anything else are involved, this is how you can create a table. And you can combine elements from two tables, you can combine them from three tables, you can filter elements. For example, you can do a search. Uh, I have a couple of news uh, aggregator sites that, that have their very large databases. Some of them are 60,000, uh, 70,000 stories deep. Now, I might want stories that only pertain to a specific item. For example, if I wanted to give somebody a database of all of the news that I had on uh, a particular event, I could search that event. If I wanted all of the news that I had that occurred in Miami, Florida, all I'd have to do is do a search for Miami. And then when I find that that search is working for me, I can simply just put this create table Miami as, and then follow that up with the, with the uh, query that I ran, and that'll create that table. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please rate, comment, subscribe. I uh, would love to get a thumbs up from you if this is helpful. And thank you very much. I hope, hope this uh, works for you.